Going to be a good one here tonight at the Murphy Athletic Complex in Memphis, Tennessee. The Memphis Tigers with the black tops, blue shorts, UAB, and the all-white unis tonight trimmed in that blazer green and gold. And we are underway here. Final regular season match as well. We will keep you up to date throughout the evening on what's going on around the league. Could be a lot of movement in the standings determining uh, who gets in the conference tournament, where the seedings are, and some potential at-larges on the line. The American hoping to get maybe four, potentially five bids to the NCAA. Right now, the American ranked number three overall in NCAA men's soccer, so it could be a big one here this evening, especially for the Memphis Tigers. Again, UAB's been eliminated, but can they play spoiler in a rivalry that goes a long way back? Colin Welch in net. He wears number one, and he has been outstanding in 15 matches this year, 19 goals allowed and 54 saves. You take that line up uh, in front of them, and they'll try to get some scoring going early. Meanwhile, UAB and the player to watch, number 11, one of the three forwards up front, Nathaniel St. Louis. We told you about him, but their keeper, Jack Hudson, he's pretty good himself. He's come up with 55 saves, allowing just 1.31 goals against on the season. So the Tigers, after an early foul, get an opportunity here. Tigers will line it up. This is as good as a set piece from the corner. That will be sent away, and Memphis will retain possession. So we'll see what Memphis and Richard Mulroney's club can get going early on here in Memphis this evening. Along the back line, the Tigers will work it back up. Along that midfield line, that's Cameron Weston that moves it off to the left side. Out of bounds, and now we'll see UAB really work on an offensive possession for the first time tonight. They can get it in. Memphis trying to get the quick takeaway. Richard Mulroney's been an outstanding uh, head coach here at Memphis trying to build this program up. Will this be the breakthrough year? Will it be the year he gets him in the NCAA? Former collegiate standout. Of course, he was outstanding and then really made his mark in the MLS, San Jose, FC Dallas, Houston Dynamo. He's in the San Jose Quakes Hall of Fame. Local guy, though, he played at Christian Brothers High School here, a few miles away over on Walnut Grove, played his college soccer up at Creighton. So sit around that time by Travis. Travis will work it up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez goes along to the right side. UAB pushes in just outside the 18. Nice through ball, but unable to connect to Konoki Kiss is who they were looking for up front. Now UAB gets it back out along the left. Earhart on the sideline. That gets through. Everyone on side. They've got an opportunity. Daly on. Nice slide tackle into the corner, and that's going to stop the momentum for UAB. So that's where UAB will throw it in. Good offense possession early on here for the Blazers after Memphis had an early free kick. Just outside the 18, Earhart looks to his left. On the rotation, they'll go down to St. Louis, and that's their leading score. Second team all conference USA last year. He's been in the trials with West Ham and Benfica in the club level. And Jeff Kenny, the UAB head coach in his fourth year, he spent nine years up at Virginia Tech, did a really nice job up there on their staff. Multiple NCAAs. They went to a Sweet 16 and Elite Eight when he was the – Assistant coach up there, assistant head coach in 2017. Of course, spent some time at South Carolina. He was a academic All-American when he played at American University. Took American U to a couple of NCAAs as a player in 0102. Touched it from St. Louis down to the left side. So we love growth. Growth goes high, and there's going to be Welsh. So Welsh gets the early pickup as he throws out long to the left wing. Sent through too far. If this stays in bounds, UAB will grab possession, and they will. Back into the middle now to Travis. Travis will work it up. He's got plenty of room to maneuver. Travis. Take a quick peek along the back line. They'll list just a couple along the back line tonight, although it looks like they will start out with a three-man back line. Kanoki Kiss now out to the left side. One side for Earhart. Very hard through ball. That one's going to be broken up. They got it close just outside the six. And UAB is 
as we talked about, fire at will. Just get down there, put it in the middle, see what happens, and they're doing a nice job. No official shots yet, but they are getting it in there. Nice break up on the slide as the Tigers came through defensively. Now a corner kick coming up. 53rd corner kick of the year for UAB. Lined up, low line drive, headed straight up off the Thorvaldson corner. Set out. Theodore Thorvaldson, a senior out of Halden, Norway. He spent time on the under-18, under-16 Norwegian national teams. He's got four shots on the season. Thorvaldson has it again. High the 18, nobody home, headed away by the Tigers. See if Memphis can get a counter attack going here. Looks like they have some momentum, maybe something working along the left side. They'll slow down momentum, try to get the set back, get organized, get their shape. They'll look long. They've got Jackson Kim on the right side. They want to go to him. Instead, they keep it over all along the left side. Six minute, and there is no score. UAB with the only official shot thus far. This Welch will come well out of net this time. He'll find Cesar Sancho. Connell Welch this year, 15 matches, all starts, 19 goals against, a 1-2-8 goal against average, 54 saves. He's faced 208 shots this year. Saved 74%, as we told you, coming into tonight. Three-time goalkeeper of the week and on the honor roll as they go long. They go over the top, Memphis. Has a couple on the inside. Toward the line kept in by UAB to avoid the corner kick. They're still in dangerous territory, but a nice clear by the Blazers. A little tug on the jersey, and there's the foul. Saw the tug, waiting for the whistle. They got a little piece of Sancho. So they're going to bring the ball back. See what kind of spot they get. Memphis just goes indirect, kick backwards. So about 50-50 so far on possession for these two clubs early here in the eighth minute. There is Jack Hudson, six-foot grad student out of Atlanta, Georgia, 13 matches, all starts. He's been outstanding as well, 17 goals against, a 1-3-1 goal against average of 55 saves, three shutouts on the season for the Blazer goalkeepers. Memphis will try to make their way down a long throw in. Ball up for grabs, UAB. A little pressure, but Memphis will get it back to Welsh. And Memphis will watch the scoreboard a lot tonight. At least the fans will. Memphis has to win this one. Here's the shot just to the right, and Welsh, and that's just going to be out of the reach and a little bit wide. So the first really good opportunity goes to the UAB Blazers. They continue to put a little pressure on. Let's take another look. It's going to be De Leon, Curtis De Leon, and just to the outside of the right post of Welsh. Tonight it's FAU at FIU. Charlotte at Temple, that's a match that won't factor in really to the upper half of the standings or the tournament. The two Florida school, USF at UCF and Tulsa at SMU. Memphis tonight, their priority, get the win, stay alive. If they don't get the result tonight, likely would have to win the conference tournament. Here is a shot through the 18. A little congested there as it rolls out. It'll be a goal kick for the Blazers. The ideal situation for the Tigers tonight, if they win, would be a Tulsa FAU and UC, uh, UCF win. Jack Hudson, there he is, the senior out of Atlanta, Georgia, again coming up with 55 saves this year, and he saved nearly 76.5% of the shots one net. And off the back of the head of the Valdson, kept it in and racing is St. Louis. St. Louis accelerating, leaves it in, and Welch comes up big to his left. 
off the foot of Konokikis. Well, that's a really nice feed that time by St. Louis. Draws, he got a little bit past. Jackson Kim, Welch there to smother the touch. UAB will press up again. Midfield through Valdson. Long pass to the near sideline. Earhart trying to get it right back to the revolts and they lose possession. Memphis right now just needs to get it out of their defensive third. And they're having trouble doing that. Now Memphis able to work it up just a bit. UAB closing in quickly defensively. They're running the pitch from front to back very quickly. Blazers this year, they've scored just 14 goals, but they've only given up 20 on the season. And getting the shots has been the issue. They're averaging under eight shots a match while surrendering a little over 14. They'll go along a Welch will wait for it just to cross the 18-yard line. The so Welch will take a long look at it. When he was in Overland Park, played at Blue Valley High School, won a state championship back in 2017. Took the starting role a year ago. Came in as a freshman, played outstanding. And has anchored the net for all 15 matches so far this season. Memphis at 7-4-4, four, 4-3-1 four, four, in the league. UAB 3-8-4, 1-4-3 <laughs> in the American. Another opportunity, it's through. There's the goal, and the Tigers take the 1-0 lead in the 12th minute. Left out front, no one picked him up. Jack Hudson really kind of helpless at that point. Eric Primo at 11.38, the official time. And the Tigers take the early lead. Nice job getting it through by Chang. And the quick touch. Hudson getting down, trying to get the kick save, but the Tigers take the early 1-0 lead. So Chang will get the assist. So Primo put it away. And a big one for the Tigers. Well, told you they needed to get out early in this one, have the sense of urgency. And both teams playing with urgency early on, but the Tigers get the early lead. Cameron Weston in on an assist as well. So as you saw, Primo is second of the year. Chain comes up with his first assist of the season. As there is Welsh again. Weston's first assist of the season. It's a long throw in down the near sideline. Picked off quickly by Curtis DeLeon. Memphis able to come away with possession, though, in the 50-50. Now the Tigers will turn it up left wing. Headed toward the corner. No one close. That will roll innocently out of bounds. Now the Tigers with a one nothing lead despite UAB out shooting Memphis early on, 4-1, and a 2-1 shots on goal advantage. A couple of big saves by Colin Welsh early on. So Hudson with a goal kick. Doesn't 
tipped away at midfield. That's going to be Memphis ball. Good spot for a throw in for the Tigers right across midfield. Placed in from Jackson Kim. Now he'll send it over the top to see if Memphis stays on. It looks like they do. Trying to get the crossing pass and looks like they'll earn a corner. So a nice run that time by the Tigers down the right wing. And it's going to be Ojeda to take the corners. Take a look again as the Tigers had it to the right side. Brandon Bracken. Nice breakup that time as well by Owen Travis for UAB. Outstanding hustle to get back defensively. They do have Hayden Anderson waiting there. See what they do want to do on the corner. They're going to go directly onto it. Ojeda on the backside. Header is going to be a bit too high. Not a bad opportunity. No result, though, for Memphis. The three matches that Tiger fans are going to pay close attention to are scoreless right now, by the way. Tulsa and SMU. Second half for FAU, FIU, and second half as well for USF, UCF. Going to update you the half on the total scoreboard as well. So the Tigers again lead at 1-0 early on here. In Memphis, Welch out of the 18. And shank that one off the left side. Would have liked to go on center and get a big clear, but that's going to go over the Tiger dugout. So good opportunity here for UAB. They're going to get it in the Tiger defensive third. Long throw in, but much more blue than UAB white and green back there. They nearly make a costly mistake there as they have a loose ball. Let's see what Travis can do with it. A little 50-50 battle. He's just going to send it long, keeps it in bounds. There's the Tigers. And they'll just clear it out of bounds right on front of the coaching staff for the Tigers. Ball was tipped on the clear, so the Tigers will throw it in. Aiden Anderson. He'll race up and get the header as well. So the teams exchange multiple headers here. Now the ball settles in on the turf. Here comes St. Louis. He'll deliver now. St. Louis will make his way toward the 18 as he gave it off to Benedict Earhart. Long throw, going high outside the 18. They'll go right to St. Louis and let him try to work his magic. You've seen he's very quick already. Their leading goal scorer. They'll reverse it out to the right side. That's going to be Stockley sends it high. It's going to be his fifth shot on the year. The grad transfer, the grad student out of Charlotte. He's been part of the U.S. Development Academy. Cameron Weston, who assisted on the goal earlier. Out of Leicester, England. Tigers have a chance to counter. Ball a little bit too strong. Now the Blazers have a chance to turn. St. Louis delivers down the left wing. Speed by Earhart. He accelerated. He caught up with it. Centering, but that's going to be a little bit behind his intended target. And Memphis again able to get it into the mid third. UAB trying to slow it down just a little bit, get organized before they press forward. That'll be out on the Tigers. So the 18th minute, now 19th minute. Tigers with a 1 0 advantage. Well, around the league, Julio Plata has just scored for South Florida, so they take a 1-0 lead against UCF in the 60th minute of that match. 
the only score, the three games that would affect Memphis tonight. Of course, UAB coming in. They are in ninth place, so they will not be able to qualify for the conference tournament. SMU has taken a 1-0 lead as well. They're in the 17th minute. It was Newt Allander who scored on a PK after it looked like Mitchell Cashin from Tulsa picked up the yellow card. So starting to get some results. It's going to be fun to follow this evening around the American Conference. And again, this league's been outstanding. Ball into the six, just outside the six. Blazers trying to level the match and a little bit of a 50-50 foul that's going to go on UAB as they finally get the ball back. Officials want to speed the play up. When you take a look at the American Conference this year and the overall RPI, they sit third behind the Pac-12 in the Atlantic Coast, the ACC. Ivy League's in fourth, Sunbelt in fifth. So it's been a big year for the American Conference. And they're looking at, at getting four, maybe five into the NCAA this season. They've got to like what they see out of the league this year. Memphis back of their own 18 as UAB continues to put the pressure on. Now Memphis has the one nothing lead, but UAB's out shooting Memphis 5-2, a 2-1 shot on goal advantage. They've controlled... Here in the 21st minute, I would say probably 60% of the possession. Jackson Kim pass midfield. Well, 50-50 that time as Owen Travis got tied up that time the whistle goes against the Tigers. Second foul on Memphis. Brandon Brackett, free kick for the Blazers. Long look here for Owen Travis. They go over the top and deep. They got St. Louis hanging around down there. Blazers have done a nice job keeping the shape, staying organized. Now the Tigers will press up. Again, they'll roll out, had some momentum. We've seen that do it a couple of times. They'll get their formation set again over the top. See if everyone stays on sliding in their offsides. So Tigers well off that time, trying to go down to the left corner. And they'll bring Jack Hudson out to take the kick. Send everyone long. Plenty of time to go here in the opening half. Under 23 minutes. Hudson delivers a beauty. But the Blazers are unable to do anything with it. They've got plenty of distance down there. They will keep possession of the ball, deflected out of bounds. Out in the midfield, Brandon Brackett. Now it looks like Anderson fought for it. Breaking loose, Blazers coming in again. They've got something going in the middle. They can get the turn, and that's going to be out of bounds. Oh, they would have kept it in, would have had a chance. They were trying to get turned around a bit. Brooks Stockley that time just could not keep the ball in, just barely got across. Shane Butler, Donovan Eubank, Belinda Sopka, and Don Eubank, our officials tonight. And they battle for the 50-50, that'll roll out. It'll be UAB ball. Thervaldson looking. He doesn't see anything, so 
It'll give it another shot. She passes it off. Now UAB just a little indecisive as Stockley just goes backwards. She'll open things up, spreads the field out. Smart play that time by the Blazers. Earhart comes up. Jackson Kim, he'll send it back to Connell Welsh. Welsh leaves it long out to the right side. So again, just one goal thus far. And again, it's going to be Eric Primo. He was assisted by Peter Chang and Cam Weston. That was back in the 12th minute, 11.38 into the match. Here's the native of Kostendorf, Austria for UAB. Trying to find someone. It has been at Erhard, the freshman. He's picked up a couple of assists on three shots this year. Here come the Tigers. They don't have the numbers. So they just roll it out wide in the field. And the Tigers have four left side. See if they get going in the middle as it's going to get out of bounds. So where will Memphis go with it? Throw toward the corner to the 18 or they come back with it. They do have Brandon Brackett sitting up here on your, just outside of your shot on the left as they take a look at it. They may go right into the 18 with this throw. Hayden Anderson, the senior out of Greenville, South Carolina. That one is headed. Still an opportunity. Kind of tickling the line on the 18. And here comes Nathaniel St. Louis. Tried to get the breakaway. Couldn't get it that time. Memphis is fortunate. Now the Tigers look to the right side. Little one-on-one -on -one battle in the near corner. Opportunity for the Tigers. They sent it through. Couldn't get the header. Blazers able to get a slight clear and a slide tackle that time, and it looked like that was Jackson Kim who came up and took Nathaniel St. Louis off his feet. Take another look as the ball. St. Louis tries to turn, and the slide tackle, yep. Came right in front of him and picked up the foul. Third foul of the match on the Tigers. So they'll go long 50-50. Yes, Off the foot of chain. So the Blazers again pushing forward. Get her that 5-2 shot advantage. But the Tigers are that one goal lead. You're hard. Throws it, gets it back, finds St. Louis. Quick touch. Nice move that time by Curtis DeLeon. A nifty move. Couldn't keep his footing because he was tripped. So that'll be the fourth foul. Let's take a look now. He goes between the legs. Watch this. And he had it, and there's the trip. By Primo. Primo was your goal scorer earlier. Curtis DeLeon. Wearing 18 on the right, and that's Thorvaldson on the left. Eight. Thorvaldson takes it. Got her back, and Connell Welsh will just take it to his left. Started out well, not a bad, bad possession there by UAB. They came away with no result. Here at the 28th minute. Just over 17 minutes remaining in the opening half. The Tigers with the one goal advantage back to Welch. And the Tigers playing a dangerous game back there. They are able to get it away, though. Long passes. They'll leave it across the turf. Settled in again as the Blazers now get it to St. Louis. He's got some speed. A little one-on-one -on -one battle there. The Tigers double him up. Headed backwards right into the hands of Connell Welsh. UAB now has a 6-2 shot advantage. 3-1 shots on goal. 
Meanwhile, Tulsa, two minutes later after the SMU goal, has tied it up. So they are even in the 24th minute of their match. Still no score between FAU and FIU, and South Florida continues to lead Central Florida 1-0 in the 69th minute of that match. Wells to the right side. Sancho looks up, instead goes back to Welch. Kanoki just coming on a little bit, just a little bit of token pressure there. Long toward the corner to the Tigers, it's Chang. Chang getting around Earhart, Chang. Nice pass, they had good positioning though, that was the right move by Chang. Back up to midfield, now the Blazers trying to make a push. In the midfield, taken by De Leon, Curtis De Leon. Passes to the right side. They've got St. Louis on the back side, if they find him. Cleared in the midfield, Memphis just doesn't have the numbers up front. Now they'll go wide, spread it out just a hair. Let the rest of the Tigers catch up. They'll bring it in from midfield. And there's the infraction right in front of the UAB bench. Fifth foul on the Tigers. The Tigers this year, 158 fouls coming into this match. They've played very physical. It's been 152 fouls against Memphis, and that tells you how physical they've played this year. They have invited contact. 39 yellow cards for the Tigers, just the lone red card. And tack on another one right there, just shy of midfield. So that'll be foul number six on the Tigers. Thought for a second they were going to draw the yellow, but didn't. There's the initial contact. Now you get up to midfield, and here's where the play will come. Yeah, I got him on the back of the calf there, just trying to turn the corner. Headed straight down by... Stockley sends it to the right side. Moving back up toward midfield. UAB pushing forward. And Memphis just needs a clear at this point. On the right side. Now Memphis may have something going here, developing in midfield. They'll bring the numbers up. Primo kind of directing things. Tigers will send it back, open things up just a hair. Memphis comes through. Sancho goes long to the left. And again, a whistle. And that's where the frustration may start bounding up a little bit for the Tigers. He's just not able to get a lot of the momentum going forward when it looks like something's starting to develop. And again, they were looking for Primo again. Another offsides. I mean, the second offside on the Tiger in the match. So the Atlanta Georgia native, Jack Hudson. Delivers well across midfield. And there's the Blazer foul. That'll be the third foul on UAB. Brooks Stockley just got into the back of him. The Tigers will have the free kick just shy of midfield. They'll work it back to Sancho again. He's going to go left side. Looking to go deep. I believe that's Primo they're trying to find. This time they do. Trying to get the centering pass, and UAB is unable to keep it in, so it looks like a corner coming up for the Tigers. 
That'll be their second of the match. This being taken by number three, Hayden Anderson. Sub in for UAB. So that is going to be Jose Mario Hayda over there. Buck in for number 44, Zambor Kalnakikish. Subs in for Memphis, number seven, Gabriel Christensen in for number two, Jose Mario Hayda. So Gabriel Christensen is now in. So Hayden is off the corner. They'll now get Hayden Anderson over there. Anderson, a little movement on this one. Header is going to be wide. Not a bad setup, just not enough on the header that time to do anything. It looks like it glanced off the back and rolled to the left of Jack Hudson, well wide of the post. So Lenica Rodriguez dos Santos is in as well for the Tigers. The Tigers trying to apply just a little bit more pressure offensively. Again, UAB has done what they wanted to with the exception of giving up the goal. They have pressed Memphis, put the pressure on the Tigers. They've fired a lot at net so far tonight. Tigers just got the goal early in the match. But the majority of the possessions gone to UAB tonight. Tigers break through. They've got another opportunity for a second goal. And they've got it. Tigers. Similar situation. Possession had been controlled by UAB, but Memphis finds the seam. Gabriel Christensen. At 34-43, gives the Tigers a big 2-0 advantage. Nice touch there. He squirts through a double team. Hudson came out to try to cut down the angle, but Christensen just a little too quick. Whipped the strike. And the Tigers up by a pair. UAB, Another look. Jacob yeah, it came out, 16, got him down again, similar to the earlier goal. They got Hudson trying to split. Christensen with his second goal of the season. So Memphis doing what they need to do tonight, taking care of business. Still a lot of this match to be played. But on the board twice so far in the first half. Meanwhile, USF has put back-to-back -back goals together within a span of just over 10 minutes to take a 2-0 lead over UCF, 74th minute in that match. Contact there with under 10 minutes to go here in the opening half. 6-3 shot advantage again for the Blazers, but the two goals have come for Memphis tonight and again for the Tigers. A little bit there and just kind of got on top of them, incidentally coming down. Everyone up and okay. Long went over the top. Memphis stayed on, may earn a corner to who they're going to call this out. It's going to be out on Memphis. It'll be a goal kick. But the Tigers got on the board 11-38 by Eric Primo. They followed up just moments ago at 34-43 by Gabriel Christensen. Mano Lenaris in for Brooks Rice now for UAB. Memphis left side, momentum broke it up. Going to be out of the Tigers. Oh, UAB now looking to try to get a goal, try to get a little bit of momentum going to the locker room. They've played well. They've just not been able to put the ball in the back of the net, but they've been very active up front. Something Jeff Kinney has to like thus far. 
And St. Louis touches it up to the left side. Meanwhile, Richard Mulrooney got to be very pleased to have a 2-0 lead despite UAB really controlling a lot of the possession. A third goal. They snuck a third one in before the end of the half. You feel really good in the final 45 minutes of this match. Trying to solidify now. A win tonight's not going to guarantee anything for Memphis. They likely still need to win a conference tournament game and are still playing for an opportunity maybe to host a conference tournament game. We'll see how the standings play out. Right now, South Florida winning. Memphis is still on the outside looking in to host a conference tournament match. Here's the shot and that one's right to Jack Hudson. Top two teams get a bye. Three and four host. Five and six go on the road in the opening round. As it stands right now, Memphis would travel to USF if everything held. Still a lot to be determined before this evening's over, although USF's in pretty good shape with about 14 minutes remaining in their match. Just under six and a half remaining in the opening frame. Owen Travis. They'll work it out wide off of Earhart. Nice chip shot in, but Welch cuts any opportunity off for UAB. Quickly out to the left side. Welch went. Now the Tigers working the left sideline. One on one. See if Memphis is able to get anybody inside the 18. Not quick enough. Smart play by the Tigers just to bring it back again here, organize. Sancho looks. He'll take it again. Sancho to his right does have Jackson Kim. Back to Welch. Memphis works the diamond along the back line, including Colin Welch. It's going to stay in. UAB's got a chance for a counter here. If he spin move, nothing comes out of it. It'll stay with UAB. Got to do. Got to be impressed, though. UAB's pretty athletic. You know, they've just had some scoring issues. But Jeff Kenny's got some athletes out there. Eric Bessie is going to be in. Stockley is out. On to the right side of the 18, still up for grabs, and Welch will pick it up. Throws across the middle, and Memphis unable to really make the turn. So, again, that'll stymie the momentum just a bit. Memphis picks it back up, though. Tigers going deep, closing in. Peter Chang. St. Louis lost it. See what the Memphis Tigers are able to do here. Chang to the right side. Chang splits a double team. Back out, they find Chang. Tigers centered up. Well, Memphis made a lot of moves, but you can only split so many double teams. Tigers, though, fortunate to keep possession here. Under three and a half minutes to go in the opening half. Primo all alone in midfield. Took a look to the right side. Well, give and go to Jackson Kim. They'll send it back now. They'll find Sancho in the back line. Under three to go in the first. Right 
They'll just feed it back to Welch. And reverse field. Everyone else starting to push forward. Offside, Tigers maneuver, 2.20 remaining. They've closed the gap a little bit, and they've earned a little bit more possession here in the last 10 or so minutes. They've had the last two shots, two la uh, last two shots on goal. They've taken a little bit of pressure off of Colin Welsh. He's already picked up three saves in the opening half. Coming off the season high at USF. Under two remaining here in the first. Tigers content just not to make a mistake here. They'll play a little possession soccer and take that two goal advantage into the locker room. Only thing Tigers don't want to make a mistake and give up a counter, but they have a chance here in the 18. Memphis unable to get a shot off as UAB collapses defensively and does a nice job. Now to St. Louis, puts it up a minute 13. Now UAB looking for that counter opportunity. 6-4 shot advantage for the Blazers. The team's even at three shots on goal. Daniel St. Louis, again, the transfer from Syracuse. Five goals and an assist, 24 shots this year. He'll give it up to Benedict Earhart out of Kostendorf, Austria. Earhart, just a freshman. Picked up a couple of early assists so far this season. 35 seconds, Memphis turns, here's a chance. Here's the long shot, but that's gonna sail high. A little over 20 yards out. Not a bad decision, you're not quite sure how much time you got, clock's behind you, so put the ball on net, just elevated a little too much. 10, nine, eight, Gets a good seven, line up, and as you six, see, that just elevated five. off the foot. So the Tigers are going to take a two-goal lead in the locker room. They're doing all they can do, and that's control their match. They did it on goals by Eric Primo and Gabriel Christensen. And the Tigers lead the Blazers after one by a score of 2-0. And Tulsa, Tigers still got to finish this thing off. Can't take anything for granted as we're about ready to go here in the second half between the Blazers and the Memphis Tigers for UAB. They just want to continue to do what they did, except for giving up the goals in the first half. They kept the pressure on Memphis, the Tigers, able to find the back of the net. And, of course, it helps when you have Connell Welsh back there. A lot, a lot of pressure, but Connell Welsh now sitting at 57 saves on the season with his three in the opening half. So, again, the Tigers in the black tops, blue shorts, UAB in the all-white trimmed in green and gold. Jack Hudson gave up a pair of goals, made the one save in the opening half of play. So UAB will come down right side now, trying to pick that up as Brooks Rice got his leg up a little high. He took the worst of it, though. Uh, may get a warning. I don't know if they're going to do it. They may draw the yellow, and they will. No, he's just going to get the warning. Now one of the players down, then he ran away with the ball, and I think that's where he'll get the yellow card from, not the initial contact. You know, kind of a dangerous 50-50 kick there between yellow both. As, again, Brooks Rice took the worst of it. But I think when Hayden Anderson, I don't know if it was Hayden who ran a, was not giving the ball up so that he could get the free kick, may have drawn the yellow card, and it is going to be on Hayden Anderson for descent. 45-56, just underway here, second half. So Brooks Rice will walk it off. Good to see him up and okay. Rice grad student out of UNC Greenville, originally out of Birmingham, Alabama. In 2018, he was the Alabama Player of the Year. This one's going to be up, punched over by Connell Welsh.
So the corner coming up for UAB, their second corner of the match. St. Louis put it down, but they're going to rotate out. Theodore Thorvaldsen will take the corner out of Halden, Norway, a senior. Going to spend some time on the youth national teams. A little low line drive. Looked like he just kind of towed it early. And they've won the line drive, but just hit it on top of the ball a bit. Now the Tigers have a chance for a counter. They're going four wide up front. Through the 18, and that is batted down by Hudson. A rocket from about 20 yards out on the far side. Tigers will have Hayden Anderson at the corner. Let's take a look at this. Just outside the 18. Boy, a lot of velocity and diving to his left. Jack Hudson on the shot by Gabriel Christensen. Anderson gets a little movement. The header is going to go back, and that'll be out of bounds on Memphis, or will it be on UAB? It's going to be out of bounds. Memphis may have the corner again, and they are. They're just going to take it on the near side. Oh, Henderson will make the walk over here. He is going to have Christensen standing to his right. I think Christensen will break. There he goes. In backside, he got a lot on that one. Tigers keep the ball, though. Just too much elevation. So the Tigers on back-to-back -back corner kicks come away empty-handed. Hudson will quickly lay it down, roll it over to Guillermo Rodriguez. Senior out of Rosenberg, Texas. He's got a goal on the year and a lone shot. Back right side, now to Stockley. A little too long for UAB, and that'll make its way out. I'll stop there on the whistle. Tigers now get the offsides. And it was just around on the header. Be the third one on the Tigers this evening. The nine fouls, three offsides for Memphis. No offsides, four fouls on the Blazers. They've been relatively disciplined tonight. Now back on the attack, UAB pushing up. Nathaniel St. Louis left it back, and offense just pushed a little bit too forward that time. It was a nice feed. He had the right thought. Memphis really had a marked fairly well. Bringing in Brackett, sends it over to the right side. Here's the shot. That's just going to get past the post. Jack Hudson went down, cut the angle off a little bit. A little bit wide, but a nice thought for Memphis. They'll get yet another corner, it looks like. Be the fifth corner of the night for the Tigers. This time they're going to drop on Christensen. That a couple of times. Now UAB takes it away. UAB looking for a counter. They don't have the numbers. Brooks Rice to the right side. Rice trying to get the turn and a nice job that time by Memphis. Brandon Brackett stepped in front, cut off the angle. Gets the dispossession, sends it ahead to Hayden Anderson. 
A well, two-man game here as Memphis will catch up to Christensen. Cam Weston takes it along the back line. He'll leave it for Sancho. Go along to the corner, just overshot a bit. 52nd minute here in Memphis and the Tigers still with a two-goal advantage over UAB. And if everything stands, it would be the final home match of the season for the Tigers. They would have needed a, just a little bit of help around the league, maybe to garner the home match. Unfortunately, no one able to help them out around the conference tonight. The only other game in progress is just underway in the second half as well, and that's SMU still leading Tulsa 3-1. If Tulsa does not rally, that means Memphis likely, by my math, would be going to Tulsa in the opening round. That'll be out right there in front of Gabriel Christensen. Second half starting off, other than the scoring, the Memphis got in the, the opening half a little bit better as far as possession for the Tigers. Been able to control it a little bit more early here in the second half. Hayden Anderson now will throw it in for the Tigers. Anderson straight back to Sancho in the middle. He'll drop it off to Connell Welsh. Welsh outside the 18, works it to Weston. Now it'll be out at midfield. And a couple of moves being made. Shane DeLeon in, and Curtis DeLeon is out for UAB. Out to the left side. Again, three, oh five, three on five. Blazers did, did not have the numbers that time. Nice pressure up front. Now the Tigers come to the left side, Gabe Christensen. Christensen gets to the double team, his shot. They've been deflected, just didn't get a lot on that one. Popped that one straight up in the air. Let's see what happened here. Christensen gets to the double team. Maybe a toe on it, or maybe just got up under. It's going to be close regardless, no result for the Tigers. Jack Hudson. Two midfield, now Memphis. No numbers, can't get the counter. Under 35 minutes left, and again, a two-goal lead for the Tigers. Goals again came at 11.38 by Eric Primo, 34.43 by Gabriel Christensen. Go, 
Most wins this year for the Tigers if they hold on to this one since 2019. That year they went 10 and 7 overall. One of the better seasons for Richard Mulrooney. 7 4 and 4, the high RPI, the strength of schedule. Tulsa is on the board again. So Tulsa, not done yet. Alex Beinhardt in the 50th minute. It's a 3 2 SMU lead. They've still got 40 minutes to play, so that one not over by a long shot between Tulsa and SMU. FIU now scoreboard watching because of Tulsa Falls. FIU is your regular season champ and the number one seed, and they would host the conference tournament. If Tulsa rallies and win, they're the regular season champ. They host the conference tournament. Through Memphis trying to get the clear. There's the shot, and there's Connell Welsh again. Quick shot that time, laying there, and Welsh picks up another save. Tigers drop it back off to Welsh again. Welsh up the middle. Tigers working the back line, getting some spacing, just trying to remain organized. Tigers have a chance here. Three goal lead would be gigantic right now. Approaching 31 minutes remaining, there's the shot that's just gonna be high. A little touch that time, and the Tigers nearly had the dagger. There's Jack Hudson again. Shot by Brackett, just off the fingertips. What a save, Jack Hudson. If that one clips the post, the, the, rather the crossbar, and comes down and in, three-goal lead, Memphis is then doing some scoreboard watching themselves because Tulsa just made things interesting. Here's another corner kick here for the Tigers. Sixth corner for Memphis tonight. Anderson off the back. Things get pretty physical out there in Dallas or uh, between Tulsa and SMU. A couple of yellow cards since that goal on SMU. Tigers right now kind of wanting Tulsa to rally because that could potentially mean a home game for the Tigers. Well, SMU is you are really looking to control of this thing, but the goal by Tulsa, a couple of yellow cards, looks like momentum maybe swinging out there in that match. A little 50-50 ball just across midfield. Off of Gabe Christensen. So they, they may tell Curtis De Leon. Yeah, he brought it back. He threw it back to Stockley. His man is way down the pitch. Stockley right into the midfield circle. Rodriguez tried to accelerate, made his way up, just keeping it in bounds as Earhart. Nice feed. Here goes Nathaniel St. Louis. St. Louis just couldn't get the run he wanted.
So DeLeon's going to set it up. Shane DeLeon out of Raleigh, North Carolina. He's had seven shots, no goals, no assist. They'll stack him up three high of the six, about 10 yards out. DeLeon, going to move it on that one. Ball is left loose and cleared by the Tigers before they're able to get a shot off on Welsh. And there's another shot off the crossbar. Tigers that close, a great save a couple of moments ago by Hudson. This one off the crossbar. That close to being three, potentially four. Ooh, nice through ball. Again, the wind up by McCallum. A couple inches down, that hits the bottom part of that bar and comes down and in. On the near side, that one's going to make its way out of bounds. So the Tigers will make a move. Yvonne Prado's coming in. Prado, hard to believe, already a senior year. Coming in from his high school against Dos Santos out. Back in Houston, Texas, high school, 41 goals, 32 assists. This year he's been really good. Four goals, an assist, 16 shots on the year for the Tigers. Really been fun watching him develop. Made such an impact this freshman season. He's been a threat all four years he's been here. Hey, Nanderson, the long throw. Just clip Brooks Rice a little bit now. Rice, a little bit of room to maneuver. He gave it up, tried to pass it in the center. Tigers trying to counter. Hayden Anderson broke it up. He also had Gabe Christensen down to his left. Like Anderson will direct traffic. He'll get it back on the sideline. Couldn't beat the double team. Rodriguez tying him up. Finds a loose ball, though. Scored it through. Anderson's got it in the near corner. Works it to Christensen. Christensen got a chance if he can get in there. He passes the shot up. Couple of deflections, and they'll make it to the left. Well, Christensen kind of surprised. When he was coming into the 18 to the near side, and maybe he didn't have the lane that he wanted. Let's take another look. He had some spacing, but maybe just didn't have the clear lane to the goal. Ends up giving it to McCallum. Gets a couple of deflections. He'll earn a corner kick. Great job by our camera operators. And with 25 minutes left before things get crazy watching the uh, Tulsa SME match and trying to figure out standings before tonight's over. I do want to say uh, a big thanks to all of our staff, both back in the studio and out here uh, at the Murphy Athletic Complex for just another outstanding job they've done this season, uh, helping provide all the coverage on ESPN+. Plus. Big kick save that time by Jack Hudson. Meredith is in, brackets out for the Tigers. Off the foot, and there is Hudson. Now the corner for the Tigers, or a throw in. It's good as a corner if you can get it in there. He does. That's going to be punched out. Hudson now has picked up four saves, three of those here in the second half. He's giving his Blazers a chance. Now, they've not been able to get the push up top offensively like they were in the first half. 
but he's keeping that. I mean, 20 years, just under 24 minutes to go. Christensen waiting. Anderson to take the kick. A lot of air under that one. And that one's elevated high, the crossbar. So with 23 and a half minutes to go, still a 2-0 Tiger lead. Get that one away. Right side, UAB. Dangerous ball here. Here's Rice. Rice with the left foot. Looked like that went off the back of Christensen. Memphis able to get the clear. Now a 15-9 shot advantage. And th that is after UAB had the shot advantage in the first half. Memphis has just been really pounding the ball at Jack Hudson. Hudson's come up with four saves. Shots on goal go to the Tigers, 6-4 overall. They were even three apiece, so it's a 3-1 advantage in the second half for Memphis. Sixtieth minute, SMU still leading Tulsa three two. It appears, and this is just the quick math, a if Tulsa and SMU draws or Tulsa wins, Memphis would, would host SMU. If SMU finishes it off, Memphis looks like they would go to Tulsa. That is unofficial though. Here is St. Louis, Daniel St. Louis, weaving in and out of trouble before he goes down. Now the Tigers will turn it up and move to the right side. See if the Tigers can get one big push and make it a three-goal game. Tigers right side. Centering pass by Prado, no one home. That's a nice pass by Prado, but no one there to put it away. Under 21 minutes remaining. Tigers will go at it again off to the right side, headed away by the Blazers. Both Welsh and Hudson with four saves apiece, but Tigers able to put it past Hudson a couple of times in the opening half as Welsh will let it roll up to his feet. Lasers again to the left. Just a little bit behind Brooks Rice. Rice may have had an opportunity, a one-on-one. -on -one. But the Tigers getting this game to the 70th minute. About to get into the 71st minute is contact there, and that'll send Gabriel Christensen down. The fifth foul coming up on the Blazers tonight. As Christensen riding the sideline again. A little bit of room, and it looks like that was Stockley that got up under him. And it will be, you know, get a yellow out of as well. So Stockley with the yellow at 70.02. Oh, Gabriel Christensen up and okay. He'll walk it off. Christensen out of Denmark, a junior. Transfer from Coastal Carolina, part of a Sunbelt Championship team. He's played in the Danish League as well. Has a goal, a pair of assists on the season coming into the match. And, of course, got his third goal or his second goal earlier tonight in the 35th minute. 
for number two, Jose Maria Ojeda in for number three, Hayden Anderson. Ojeda is now in for Anderson for Memphis. Longo will check in. Hey, Nanderson uh, is out for Ojeda again. We got Longo just checked in for the Tigers. Longo, a local player out of Briarcrest, a junior. Started his collegiate career out with the Mercer Bears before transferring back to Memphis. For UAB, throw vaults and is in for Brooks Rice as well. Jackson Kim's out for the Tigers. Caleb Jowers in for UAB. Wolsey League in for UAB. So St. Louis is out. That's big for the Tigers. He's their biggest scoring threat. And there's under 19 to go. So the Tigers just trying to wind this last 18 and a half off. They've been close to making a three goal game. Matthias Lovegrowth back in. Right in front of the Blazer bench, UAB moves it up. Top of the 18. Well, they had three Blazers there. They just couldn't get organized quick enough to get the shot and the Tigers they'll take possession they'll drop it back here with under 18 minutes remaining and it's been a beautiful evening out here on the Park Avenue campus of the University of Memphis just through the normal station neighborhood about a half mile from the main campus here at the Murphy Athletic Complex and it's been four or five seasons since the Tigers Came back from playing out in Kyerville, Tennessee, back from Mike Rose Soccer Complex. Nice home, but it was great to get back on campus. Nearing the 17-minute mark remaining in this match as Ojeda takes a long look here. Soft rod of Katy, Texas. Trail matches a season ago. Lucas Giolo in for Peter Chang. Oh, hate it. From the left, there's a header and a great play by Jack Hudson. Boy, he has come up huge multiple times here in the second half to prevent a third goal. Great feed that time by Ojeda. Oh, and there's the header, beauty. Well, you got to tip your cap. Hudson's been outstanding in the second half. Welch was big in the first half. Held off the early rush by UAB, but Memphis has really taken the second half in a big way. 19, or rather 16-9 shot advantage for the Tigers. Seven, four shots on goal. She got tied up there. Oh, there's the uh, infraction on Ohad Buck. Freshman out of Bangkok, Thailand. Tulsa and SMU, they're in the 67th minute. The Mustangs still leading the Golden Hurricane, 3-2. That match has big implications on if the Tigers will play at home or on the road and where they could finish overall in the standings. Shane DeLeon for the Blazers. There goes your foul. Caleb Jowers. That's going to be the seventh foul on UAB, so it's ten fouls on Memphis, seven on the Blazers here. 
Just over 15 minutes remaining now. Things getting physical. There's your another yellow card. Things getting just a little chippy. That's going to be the second yellow in UAB. So two yellows on the Blazers, one on Memphis. Coming up is going to be Theodore Thorvaldson, the Norwegian who's played on that Norwegian national uh, under 18 and 16 team. 74-53. Cleared again past midfield off the side of the head. Long ball there, just too too long for anyone to get to. Jack Hudson, 50, or rather 60 saves now with his five tonight. Boy, he's made some beauties. Kick save, went off the fingertips in the second half. Just picked one off, off pretty much a point blank header. Again, he's given his Blazers a chance. Now, there's still time. There's still 14.20 to go, but time really begin, starting to become a big factor in favor of the Tigers here, especially since just UAB's not been able to get anything offensively going in the second half. Even though they got no goals in the first, they did make several pushes. They control possession, but it's been, it's been all Memphis in the second half as far as possession. Richard Morwini's going to like what he sees, and again, lunging out front is Jack Hudson. Back over to the side to Weston. Feeds it, sideline Ojeda. George Christensen, Christensen back into center mid that time. Weston fakes right, comes left. Over the top with the left foot. One on one. Does he stay on? He's going to whistle him off sides. Hey, that was so dope. That'll be another off side tonight for the Tigers. Yeah, look there for a brief second. One on one matchup. But the six offsides of the Tigers, and I'll give UAB an opportunity with under 13 minutes. Sub in for UAB number six, Gustavo Barbosa. In for number 36, Benedict Earhart. Gustavo Barbosa coming in Sub for in the for Blazers. 22, Jack Robertson in for number 10, Emmanuel Santos. Barbosa, freshman out of Salvador, Brazil. He has one assist on four shots this season. Shane De Leon out as well. Benedict Earhart out for Barbosa for UAB. Jack Robertson in for Emmanuel Santos for Memphis. Now Richard Mulrooney starting to make a few moves here late in this match. 71st minute as SMU leads Tulsa 3-2. That's the only other match. And again, that's back. Big implications. Tigers hoping for a Tulsa rally tonight. Well, likely, I mean, Memphis would get a home match if SMU hangs on. Memphis be on the road. Comes the corner. Stayed close to the near side off the corner for UAB. So Memphis able to get out of the 18, but still deep in their own defensive third as the Blazers trying to push up yet again. Memphis just going to get the long clear. Smartest thing to do at this point with just over 11 minutes remaining. Out to the right now, Eric Bessie, who's checked in. Saw Bessie a little bit. 
earlier. He's along five minutes thus far. Bit of movement, they'll just have to go back to Welch. Welch delivers to his right. Ten and a half remaining here in Memphis. Tigers still with the two goal lead, both goals coming in the opening half. Under 10 minutes to go. Welch out of the 18, about 25 yards high the goal line. Coming up to Cam Weston again. Weston feeds through to midfield, back to Welch in the 18. Blazers continue to press up, putting a little bit of pressure on Memphis. Weston may have got away with a little bit of shove in the back that time, but he kept his feet to no whistle. Tigers have a chance here. Up high, they'll pass the shot up. Sent back down, that was Jack Roberts. So Roberts again, he'll come back. Roberts will look things over, drops it back. They'll get just a tad bit of spacing to Weston. Eight and a half minutes left here. Into the 18 Tigers get a little bit of clear, but not a whole lot. See what UAB is able to do with it. De Leon, De Leon, nice kick save that time. Along the goal line, trying to get the centering pass. Tigers able to punch it straight up. Still not a whole lot of breathing room. Still in the Tigers' defensive third. UAB trying to push forward. Under eight minutes to go. Now UAB, they've taken the last two shots. They're starting to close the gap there. Still a 16-11 shot advantage for the Tigers, 7-4. Shots on goal as Memphis is able to get it well past midfield this time. Well, 50-50 slide tackle is going to go for Memphis. Be the ninth foul on the Blazers. No, they're going to call that on Memphis. That's going to be on Giglio. Well, and he may have taken the worst of it as he got tied up with Guillermo Rodriguez. Roberts will step in front. He's got some size. He'll just block off Ohad Buck that time. Clock goes under seven. Roberts, long pass over the top. That's going to be past everyone as it goes well out of bounds. And again, 76th minute, SMU still leading Tulsa 3-2. Well, Memphis won't know their faith until about 10 minutes after this match is done. But they did what they needed to do tonight with six and a half minutes to go. Here is Eric Bessie. I'll be out on Memphis coming down. Tigers couldn't control it. Isaac Dorsey coming down. Quickly back up to Bessie. Under six minutes to go. 
Curtis De Leon. Leaves it left side. Looks like Travis. Memphis just kicks it out of bounds. That allows a few more defenders to get back. Kanoki kiss. They get Daniel St. Louis back on the pitch. Came back in for Caleb Jowers, who gave him a quick breather. But he has checked back in. So is Matthias Lovegrove. Just over five minutes to go. UAB looking for the last push here with about five minutes remaining. There's a shot, and what a save diving to his right. Colin Welsh, outstanding. Just a beautiful save by Welsh. As he will clear it. One more look for good reason. Great strike. Incredible save. Four and a half minutes to go. Walsh is out a little soft on the touch. He's going to have to race back. Tiger's able to clear it, and that'll stop play as one Tiger's down on the foul. Thorvaldson arguing his case. Again, Welsh's kick. Picked up a little 50-50 as he ran right into him. So the Tigers get the free kick. Eighth foul on UAB. Yeah, as Bryce Meredith up and able to walk it off or jog it off. Senior out of Raleigh, North Carolina. A Lehigh University transfer. He's been a defensive player of the week in his time at Memphis. He's taken six shots this year. Got six shots a season ago. Under three minutes remaining. Down the left side. They'll cut off Nathaniel St. Louis, or at least they'll cut the ball off, kick it out of bounds. That'll stop his momentum, 2.45 to go quickly. Able to throw it in. St. Louis staying over there far sideline as UAB maneuvers a little bit closer in. That's going to be high, the crossbar and out of bounds. A little chip shot that time got elevated a bit too much. Two and a half minutes to go here in Memphis. Weston says he's ready to go. <laughs> Minute 45. Now they're going to have to bring Hudson well out of net. He'll just have to play as... An 11th player out front, out of net. They're going to have to push everyone forward at every opportunity. Take the chance of the empty net goal. That really doesn't matter at this point. Oh, big contact. Big contact just shy of midfield. Let's take a look again. Let's look like a C. Took the high bounce. Just a collision there off the initial header. And Gustavo Barbosa will pick up the yellow card at 88-35. 
So I'll stop things with about a minute 24 remaining here in Memphis. Meanwhile, the 81st minute, SMU still leading Tulsa 3-2 in a very tight match. They're even at 11 shots apiece in that match. SMU had the 3-1 lead of the half, but Alex Beinhardt got a PK at the 50th minute and it stayed there ever since. Again, by what I can estimate on the uh, standings, if SMU and Tulsa were to draw, or Tulsa were to win, Memphis would host SMU. If it stands down, SMU wins. Looks like Memphis would go to Tulsa. That is, again, though, I want to stress that is unofficial. Down close to the goal line. That's going to roll out. Minute 10 to go. So down to the last minute, a big push here, and taking off his feet inside the 18. Memphis able to get the clear. I'll let it come into the six. That one's going to be punched away. So just 38 seconds to go. Memphis looks like they'll end the regular season at 8, 4, and 4, 5, 3, and 1. And the American, they'll end with 16 points. Depending on how SMU and Tulsa end up, and they will finish a few minutes past this one, about eight minutes after we get done. Memphis will be fourth or fifth in the league. You look at some of the numbers, 22nd strength of schedule, 41st RPI. Time's going to roll out. And Memphis will take their final regular season home game of the year by a score of 2-0 over UAB. They got some scoring in the first half, some big Connell Welch shaves tonight. The Tigers will end it on a win here at home this evening, and their hopes for an NCAA are still alive. We'll talk it over with the head coach a little bit later on.